Welcome, everybody, to the Roman Atwood podcast. This is our most intimate setting yet. It's my favorite. I love it. Yeah, because you're if comfy. You, if you're not watching, go watch it. Watch okay. This, episode. this is all Britt's idea. Uh, it's just a solo episode, my wife and myself. And I'm excited about this. I'm excited. I'm you nervous. Sh- you know, our first date was on a couch, baby. You remember this? Do you remember this, yeah? I mean, the first time I ever saw you was on a couch. Did you plan any of this podcast? Not at all. I show up every time. I was just I'm telling just here. I was just telling the guys working by guys, we have nothing for this. So here's what I want to do. I want to try to share things that we've never shared in the 10 years that we've been on the internet. How do we share stories that we haven't shared? I wanted to do a, like a live Q&A with people. Well, a little too late for that. Yeah. Here well, we are. I know. <laughs> so let's maybe next time. Here's what we do. We start at the beginning. And and thank you all for tuning in this week. This is a totally different episode and I really want your opinion on this style. Just Brittany and I on the couch sharing life. It could be it could be what's happening in the world. It could be the past. We have so much past. I feel like that's a little easier right now to share. I feel like we have just so many things that we don't want to talk about. Yeah, like that- that maybe people are asking or want to know, but there's just so much that. You know what's happened <laughs> is since we've been on the internet so long, we understand that one wrong thing can really mess it up. Yeah. So we've become muzzled almost in mm-hmm. a way, right? It's like there's plenty of times like, oh, man, I wish I could just say what I'm thinking, but I don't want to risk anything. I want to I want to play it safe. I want to be. Right. I want to be the good you wanna, guy. You want to please everybody. My company smile more. Like, I don't want to affect our business. And But there's plenty of times I want to s- say something. Yeah. And I, I'm always hush-hush. So how do we break that? A fan base comes from being truly you. You can act for a while, but... I'm a really good actress, I've been told. <laughs> you've acted like you love me for the last 13 years. <laughs> Happy anniversary, by the way. I know we said it in the last one, but we just celebrated it yesterday. Amazing day. Amazing <laughs> day. We did absolutely nothing. Yeah. I had a church meeting. <laughs> there we go. Happy That was our day. How old, like, does it make you feel old doing certain things? Everything makes me feel old. Like, I'm just like, oh, I have a meeting at church. I'm like, am I 80? Like, how old am I? <laughs> <laughs> Only 80-year-olds have meetings. Like, that just sounds something like my grandmother would do. All right. Here's what I want to do while I'm thinking okay. about it. Not to cut you off. Let's start at the very beginning. Of, uh, of us or yeah. you or no 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 <laughs> definitely not me that goes way back I know the very beginning before YouTube before us um, there's been some controversy on how it came to pass that we were together because I was 17 no but we can get into that is that what you mean what controversy okay here's a quick story and I and I hope I, I can share things today that we don't we haven't shared. Mm-hmm. Maybe more details and and to clarify certain things. Um, I was I was fresh out of an old marriage. Right, still technically married. Yeah, but separated. not together, not living together, um, totally separated. Mm-hmm. And for many weeks, my very close friend Chase Gilroy would send me texts on he's, the weekends. He's running this right now. Yeah, That's I know, and I think Chase. it might be the perfect time to 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 figure this out because you told me that you never (laughs) told him to text me. I never, no, no, no. Okay, but his texts were, hey, Brittany's here and she's asking about you. Okay, so I did ask about you. I mean, I was definitely interested, but it wasn't that. So my sister had said to our other friend Summer about like, oh, you should date Roman or whatever. She was older To Summer? Yeah. And she's just like, no, not my type, pass. Dang. I had <laughs> I had no idea that Chase was texting you at all. The night really? that I think he was talking about that I asked about you, it was like 1230 at night or something. And my bed there, I would stay there on the weekends. I would help them babysit. Mm-hmm. You know, they had work, mm-hmm. whatever. I would help my babysit. Um, I slept on the couch. So the living room was my bedroom while I was there on the weekends. Yeah. And he had mentioned that you were coming. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, uh. But why I was coming is because he was, I, I felt like it was about six weekends in a row. He's like, hey, Brittany's going to be here. You should come down. And I was like, first of all. Because she, I was there every weekend. She's way too cute for me. She's way too young. She probably has five boyfriends. You're oh, still, a, you're oh senior God. in high school. I'm like, she could 
why would I come down to see you? Right. Uh, but these texts were in, uh, enticing. After the sixth week, I would say, I was like, you know what? What the heck? It's like midnight. He's like, hey, Brittany's asking about you. You should come over. You never asked about me. Okay. So what I did say was I was sleeping on the couch. I'm like, it's 1230. Like, is Roman still coming? Is what ah, I said. So, so, so you, so you so did. I did ask, but I'm like, I'm literally going to be ready for bed in an hour. Like, are you guys going to be out here right now keeping me up? Like, whatever. So, so you were, you so were, I you were. technically asked if you were coming, but <sighs> it wasn't like, are you setting me up with Roman? Because that was not my thought at all. Guys, um, we, we could clarify this right now. Chase, can you clarify this? What do actually you, happened? Do you, do you remember? remember? This is 14 years ago, probably. Yesterday. All right, Chase doesn't want to meet. Um, so, yeah. And then you ended up coming down. Okay. I, I remember having like a, a back and forth on this because I was like, you were asking me to come down and then you were like, I didn't ask. But now you're kind of saying maybe you did. You did. You wanted me to come down. Okay. <laughs> I definitely wanted you to come down so for here, sure. And I remember, I remember getting there at maybe almost one in the morning. It was super late. Super late. Yeah. It was like... I guess I'll go. If she really wants me to come down, I'm going to go. That's basically what my mindset was. Right. And then as soon as I got there, Chase and Veronica, your sister, mm-hmm. immediately was like, we're going to bed. Yeah. Immediately. Good night, guys. And your bedroom was the living room. Yeah. And I was sitting on the couch like, uh, okay. And, and I'm like more nervous than ever. So I, I truly... Like, I remember before that saying, like, yeah, Veronica has, like, the cutest sister in the world. Yeah. Yeah, like, so cute. But right. how could it ever work? Yeah. Right? Um, so I was super nervous, but we watched uh, just, like, nervously. We don't want to watch a movie or something? Yeah. No, I remember, like, getting down on the floor. They had this, like, stack of all of their, like, DVDs stacked up. I was yeah. like, what do you want to watch? And I think I put on Final Destination was what I ended up putting on. Yeah. Wow. That was our final destination. Should, should we reenact like what we did on the couch? Oh my god! What, wait, was that the <laughs> Do first you remember? night? Yeah, that was the first. Baby, we night. we can't put that on YouTube. <laughs> 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 that was definitely not the first night. No, it wasn't. No, um, what I'm talking about is how. Yeah. You laid on a pillow. I kind of like inched towards you, you. I was like sitting here. You guys, you guys want to actually see this? Is <laughs> you're not going to hear me very well. But this is exactly what I did. Okay. At some point in the night. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get too close to you. I was sitting like way on the edge. Okay, let me swing this out. You guys, you guys are gonna hear me that good. And I was like, I laid down to watch the movie. The movie's right here. Yeah, right here. <laughs> and I like just put my head here, like we're on a big couch. Right. And then you started playing. And with And I hair. started playing with your hair. You had like pretty long hair. And that's how time. I knew. That's how I knew it was. It was. It was and then after that, you like put your arm around me or like around the Dang, back. Dang, I was smooth. Yeah, no, no, I think it was. I think it was like this. No, you put your arm like around the back of me. No way. <laughs> yeah, like you no were, way. You were almost laying on that your stomach. That was a different first day, babe. That is not <laughs> me. Really? Yeah, it was almost like a hug type. Wow, I don't yeah. remember that at all. And then you looked at me and we talked and then we kissed. Yeah, I said I just want to kiss you. Yeah. That's actually what happened. That's what that was happened. The, wait, that was the first, the first night. Yeah. And and and, and then and, you never got my number. And we also stayed up till the sun came up. Yeah, we never went to sleep. We literally just talked, it, talked the whole time. It was. It was innocent. I mean, innocent. the kiss was as about as wild as it got. Yeah. Um. But also, I was guys. I was twenty five years old. You were seventeen. Yeah. But maybe three months to 18? Yeah. Close, but It was like 17. November, so I was turning 18 in November. Um, or in, in February. I will say this. Never, ever was I searching for a young girlfriend. Right. And I never, ever thought of you as 17 or I've got a 17-year-old girlfriend. Never. It right. was, I'm truly like my heart and Everything is so drawn to you. There was mm-hmm. no other, there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah. I thought you were very attractive, very cute. Well, I was. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Dude, For I was sure. a mess. Long hair, bandana, tattoos. Like, yeah, but like, that's what I'm, that's what I'm into. No, that's what I was into. <laughs> really? Um, so, tattoos. Yeah. Okay. What happens next? Um, you said I didn't get your number. 
But yeah. I obviously wanted to. So I was actually in trouble. I had gotten a speeding ticket and lost my license for a month mm. at that time. So I didn't have my oh. license. So my dad and my stepmom came and picked me up and you were still there. Um, I remember just like hug casually hu- hugging you by because I didn't like really want them to know. <laughs> See, I don't even remember the hug. Dang. Um, yeah, that's what tipped them off that we were kind of together at one point because they're like, she's like, yeah, I thought it would be, I thought it was weird that you hugged him. Oh, really? Yeah. So I hugged you by and then I texted my sister like once I got home and was like, can you ask Chase for Roman's number? <laughs> uh, Yo, getting that text was the greatest thing ever. Yeah. So then you finally text me at some point because she never responded. Hmm. So you finally text me at one point and said, hey, I hope you don't mind. I got your number from Chase or whatever. Wow. I totally remember you texting me first. Really? Yeah. What do you remember? Just. Like what would I have said? I mean, this is like what, 13 years ago. So I'm trying. Further, yeah. But it was just, uh, I just remember getting a text from you and being like so freaking amped. So pumped. Yeah. Yeah. So then we just met back down there like the following weekend. To yeah, we see could each only see again. each other on the weekends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Dang, that was a long. That feels. Does it feel like another lifetime? Yeah, that because was so long ago. It really was another lifetime. Living a different life. Um, factory. I worked in a factory. Mm-hmm. You were still in high I school. Was at school, getting my phone taken because I was texting you all day. Dude, that's so bad. I'm a full grown man working in a rope factory texting my high school girlfriend and she's getting in trouble by her teachers for texting me. Yeah. I didn't even have a cell phone in high school. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. And then what happens next? We slow, we slowly, uh, did we become instant boyfriend and girlfriend? It took some time before it was like, we're actually dating now. I don't remember. I don't know. Like I, cer- I certainly was all in from that night. Right. But I don't remember us being like, we're dating. I think it was like, it was it was secret because I don't remember. I remember you texting me and you're like, I like one of the first things you text me is like, you know, I have a kid, right? Oh yeah, because I had Noah and I was yeah. I was like, I need. I, was I need. Like, yeah, he's super adorable. Like, I definitely know you have a kid. I had been to your house before. Like, yeah, and that's when you were like, uh, you said something about it's awesome you have a kid because I don't want to have any of my own and <laughs> I don't want to be married because you knew Got I was him. just. You just knew I was coming out of a, a failed marriage. So it was like, yeah, you really knew what to say. But you were awesome with Noah. You were like the greatest. But you, also at the time, I was helping my sister with two kids that were right back to back. Crazy. Yeah, not, you know, not it was just far a crazy off. time to I was like, oh my gosh, I do not want this. Not far all. off from Noah's age either. So you're already good with that. Like yeah. hanging with the little ones. Mm-hmm. No, you were awesome. Mm-hmm. Noah, gosh, I remember when he finally like wasn't shy around you. It was the yeah. funnest thing ever. Yeah, we would build forts with the couch cushions, He's like, and he was Indiana gr- Jones. When's that girl coming over? That's what he would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, and then I remember like meeting Dale for the first time. We talked about that in the last episode. Um, meeting your parents for the first time. We took Noah down, dropped them off for like a church <clears throat> event. Meeting yeah. them for the first time. And that's another example of like your age had nothing to do with my my. I was just so all in. Like, I was so excited for you to meet my parents. Not even thinking one time that I'm about to introduce them to a girl way younger than me. Yeah. Way younger than me. 17 years old. Yeah, it was definitely winter though. So I would have been 18 or close to 18 at that time. Well, I think it was pretty much secret until you were 18. Yeah. But it didn't have to be. It's just your mom would have killed me. Yeah. And- um, Asia comes... Age of consent in Ohio is 16. Which is so wild. So technically... It's, no, it, was, it was completely legal. Every, everyone says it's like illegal and stuff. No, but we the, casually like talk about how it's illegal, but it, it, it was definitely legal. The jokes are funny though. I like I like the memes people make. Yeah. Um, but I don't ever remember thinking I was doing anything wrong. It was just the right thing. I was right. in love. We I was so injured, in love. Yeah. And um, so you, you were about to graduate... And I'm so stoked for you to graduate because that meant you can move in with me or we can move together or. uh, Yeah, because even though I turned 18, um, my mom wanted me to stay and live with her until I graduated. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let's do it. And then she told me, 
when I graduated, she's like, if you just live here, I'll pay for you to go to college. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Psh, I ain't going to college. I'm moving out. <laughs> I was like dying to live with you because it was like, once we started dating, I was still going to school. I had a curfew, so I'd still have to be home. Yeah. We would like fall asleep together on the couch and then like my alarm at 1130 would go off and I'd have to get up. Oh, it was the go worst. Go scrape the snow off my car oh, and drive worst. home. It was the worst uh, that you had to go home every night. Yeah. It made it special when you got to actually, we got to live together though. Yeah. Um, or I would stay at a friend's Yeah, you house. were awesome. Really awesome to your mom actually. Like you snuck over many times. But you did go home every time. There was time. a few times. And okay. I would just Even once you were 18. the whole time. Even once you were 18, you would go home. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. that's pretty fair. Yeah. And it was miserable for me. I remember like you started to leave a couple things. Like you'd left. No, whatever. Something. A bra. <laughs> and I was so did excited. Did my undies? <laughs> so excited because it was like, she has to come back. I, she has to come back. I was so like... Coming out of a, fair, a failed marriage, I had zero trust. I assumed you were cheating on me 24-7. Yeah. You're in high school, so there's boys everywhere. Mm -hmm. young, and my best friend was a guy. And you young, were, I remember you were like very like, why do you sit beside him every day? And I was like, he's like my best friend. Yeah, but like young guys all day. My, my assumption was just like, it can't last because I'm way out of – I'm, I'm, I've got a already yeah. like a rough But at start. school, I was literally all day long writing new notes or writing I Heart Roman on my notebook or like. No, you did everything you could to like repair me. Yeah. But it was, it was, unfi you it that. was unfixable for a long time. Yeah. A long time. And it was hard for me too because there was a lot of your ex's stuff still at your house. I remember moving stuff out with you when I was moving in. That's wild. And it was. Very uncomfortable for a long time. Yeah. It's like no matter what we had to do, we did though because we were so – I was yeah. just obsessed. I was like, I got to I gotta yeah. be with this girl. So you move in. I pick you up. I went to your graduation. Yeah. So I remember – um, well, I remember it was a big deal when your ex found out it was me that yeah. you were dating. She like waited for me at your house to come over. I called you. I was like, you might all want to come over right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like scared. And she for would sure. she would send me um the the she's only seventeen. So I remember she yeah. sent you that on my eighteenth birthday while I was getting my tattoo. Dang. And you're like, actually, you <laughs> actually she's eighteen. <laughs> I've got a full grown woman. <laughs> Seriously. Um. Yeah, but you two have ended up becoming yeah amazing together and. That's been a blessing for, for sure. me and Noah. We should have her on here. Um, that would be wild. Just have a mask on the whole time. You never God, really God, that would be so wild. <laughs> That'd be really weird. Uh, it, so, it's still definitely, as much as it's comfortable and like we're good and whatever, it's still like weird. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. It's yeah. like uh, if you had a past husband, it would be strange. Right. It's like a part of Especially life at that 17. we don't necessarily want. To happen. Yeah. But for whatever reason, it's a massive part of where I'm at today. For you know, sure. You know, I, I had to, I had to. You had to have Noah. I had so to have my had boy. To do it. Yeah. I had to have my boy, man. This kid is epic, man. I love yeah. him. So it's just part of my, my roller coaster ride. And you have been incredible at managing that and not putting me in like uh, miserable positions. And you've always just been make it work. Mm -hmm. And you guys have got along and it's awesome. So, you move in. How long did we live together before we actually broke up? Like actually broke up for like two days. It was a bit. It was a while. I had like dishes there. I had. You had everything there. You and your mom showed up and like yeah, moved, moved everything. everything. So, yeah, yeah. So we actually broke up. Yeah. Which I remember your ex called me trying to get a hold of you to see like when you were getting Noah or whatever. And I was like, well, actually like we're not together. And she had like this whole conversation about like. I know it seems like impossible, but you can get over him. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like, I, you know, I, she you, obviously went through this whole thing, but. Real quick, this episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. How much do we love this company? It's my favorite, my favorite sponsor. I mean, they have been. They're amazing. Incredible to us as a family, to our friends. They've put us up in some of the coolest spots that we would never get to do without these guys. So huge shout out 
to SeatGeek for sponsoring this. Summer concerts are here and the MLB season is in full swing. And that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code Atwood, A-T-W-O-O-D. If you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones and it's by far the best way to buy tickets, period. It's 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 completely... The it's easiest so thing. With so many amazing concerts and live events happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. You can go see baseball games, Morgan Wallen, The Weeknd, and so much more. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. Red is overpriced. And for you guys, they've got the hookup. Use code Atwood for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Atwood. Make sure you click the link in the description download the app we love these guys check them out and let's get back to the podcast do you remember why we split because now i don't see how it's possible probably just some dumb argument but yeah i know but like i I don't know how we ever did that i think it was just like i don't know i still don't know i still don't know why but i remember crying for two days yeah it's like calling my friends like bawling dude i'm like i i can't live without her and (laughs) And it was like, we made it two days Mm -hmm. before it was like... You text me and you're like, hey, do you want to meet me at this hotel? We'll get a movie and just stay here. And I was like, okay, sure. I knew the movie could get her, dude. I wonder what we watched that night. (laughs) I don't know. Final Destination 5. Right? Um, So once we got back together, it was uh, was game on. Yeah. It was game on. We had... um, We had Kane? We had Kane. Maybe that's what it was, is I told you that I didn't want to get married or have kids, and then I really wanted to get married. I remember begging you for years to marry me. So before we get that far in, we started a YouTube channel before we had Kane. Mm -hmm. This was like... Before I got pregnant. You're 18 years old, and if you guys remember, I made these sketches, and Brittany would appear at the very last three seconds. I don't know if you've ever really said it's me. Well, everyone knows it's you. <laughs> but we couldn't show her face because of her job. And she had a great job. Yeah, at the dental office. At the dental office. So. And I remember. You like, were making more money than me at that time, I think. No. No. No? No. Not even close. Hmm. I like barely made enough to make my car payment. At the dental office? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, it's good for like. Getting out of high school, graduating, but it wasn't like, okay. you know. Um, but I remember like <clears throat> they did like trips and certain people would get picked for these trips to go on. And when they came back from a trip, someone on that trip, I never found out who, showed all the dentists the videos. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, Dr. Sanders, that was like who I looked up to. He's just like, I'm just kind of disappointed. <laughs> That you would do that. You know, he was like a father figure figure to me. So I was just like, it it sucked. And then the next day I got pulled in the office by the administrator saying like, you need to take these videos down and all of that stuff. And at that time I was pregnant. Mm. And I was like, well, obviously me being pregnant, we're not doing those anymore. Yeah. And you had just started making money, I think from break or something I was like, well, we can't just take the videos down. Mm. Like, you know, he's making money on there. There's revenue. There's brands. There's like, you can't just pull the videos. Right. Uh, So, yeah, it was like I was just in the office crying. Yeah, it was a hard situation. And knowing everyone had seen those videos. And they were like not the greatest sketch videos either. Oh, Some no, they were terrible. Were so bad. They were terrible. So but, edgy. But that's what – when I started YouTube, that's what YouTube was. It was right. The, it, was the, it, was the, it was the Wild West. It was mm-hmm. the Shane Dawson's and uh, Dave Chappelle-type skits and SNL and uh, 100,000 guys like me trying to mimic that humor – and and now obviously it's like oh my god, but at the time, so I enjoyed it. It was fun. Right. I really enjoyed it. And you were like, just the major. We started together day mm-hmm. one. YouTube you, started to make a few bucks. I was. Yeah. I, I was, remember you were talking about like hiring another girl. Oh, because you like, were pregnant. Yeah, I was like, absolutely no. Yeah, that's not like, gonna work. absolutely not gonna work. We did do like the <laughs> Christmas special where it was like me and another girl. Yeah, that was. That was those were good though. We had to have, uh, you like, it was Dennis's girlfriend at the time. And he like dropped her off and then you guys like went to get food. So we were like, we're doing our nails and like 
trying to decide what lingerie we were wearing. It felt like the backstage of a strip club, probably. <laughs> it was like getting ready for your guys. It was hard. Definitely some liquid courage going on. Yeah. And then it ended up being fun and great. and Yeah, super fun. Always fun. Yeah, That's that, was what we, a, that was a weird. That feels like 30 years ago. It was a different lifetime. We're totally different people now, too. Yeah. Uh, did we ever tell a sleepwalk story? On. Oh my gosh. So I told um, Steve O's guys uh, while they were here. Like, told we were out story? by the bus. I can't remember if we told that story. So one night I'm out pranking and I get a phone call from a number I don't recognize, which I don't answer. Mm-hmm. And then briefly after I get a voicemail, that says, Hey, honey, it's me. I, had I locked to, myself out of the house. I had to walk to the neighbor's house um, because I, lo- I slept, walk out of the house and lock the door. Yeah. Like you were asleep, you leave the house, lock, you lock the door and then shut the door. So it's something I would only do if I would drink. Mm. So I haven't done it since I stopped drinking. That's true. Right? Yeah, I haven't so seen you do that it ever. Was, it was just like if I would drink, I think. Dude, maybe this girl would or something, sleepwalk. I would sleepwalk. Like crazy sleepwalking. Yeah, I was possessed. I remember multiple times catching you mid sleepwalk about to pee in the hallway. <laughs> Like you would squat in the hallway, pull your pants down. And I'm like, honey, honey, what are you doing? I have to wake you up. You were the wildest sleepwalker I've ever seen. You're like a cat. So obviously I'd sleep in my underwear. I walked out of our garage. In our garage, if you lock the bottom lock, yeah, you can still open the door. Mm. But then on the other side, it's locked. Yeah. I just remember waking up in the garage. I can't get in freaking out you're downtown i think someone was in town like vitaly was in town yeah or something. maybe so you were filming downtown and i just remember being outside and it's winter literally just in my underwear i was like <laughs> i have to get inside kane's inside like he's in, in there by himself yeah he's asleep so i'm like okay i'm just gonna go to the neighbors and call in um, your underwear in my underwear <laughs> in my like what am i gonna do i know so I'm just going to call and have you come home or I don't even know why I called you because well, I don't know if you wanna, had a key or something. You just want to let me know the situation. Yeah. So I go over and beat on the door. They have a dog. Finally, the lady comes to the door and her daughter and she gets me a pair of shorts to put on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm calling you. I was like, he's not going to answer. This is a weird number. So then I'm like, okay, I'll just call the fire department. <laughs> have the fire department come and break a window. So I call and they just sound like they're, I, they probably think I'm on drugs. It's like two in the morning, one in the morning. And I'm calling like, can you come break my window? Cause I locked myself out. My kid's inside asleep. Mm. So then I was like, well, I'll just run over and, and try and get the window broken before they get there. And then I'll call them and tell them they don't have to come. So I'm over there like, trying to go to every window, every door, and I see Kane walk by. Oh. And he's like, Mom. He's looking for you. Yeah. And I'm like. Oh, poor kid. Oh, my gosh. So I'm like, Kane, go unlock the garage door. Like, go open the door. And he was only like probably four at the time, maybe, three or four. Um, So I go run back in the garage, and he opens the door because it's not like he has to unlock it. Before the fire department got there. Yeah. So then I get inside. I call the fire department back. I'm like, I got in. I'm sorry. I even called you. And then I called you. And you're like, oh, I haven't had my phone or whatever. I was like, it's fine. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, you were the yeah. wildest sleepwalker. I'd, I'd never experienced anything like that. You would do the craziest things. Like that sleepwalking stuff's no joke. Yeah. I remember, I think the first time it happened, you had like pieces of an old table in your closet or something. I think I was like just spending the night. And you said I was just like in there moving the boards around in the yeah, closet. Yeah, you were like reorganizing the closet in the middle of the night. You wake up and somebody's in your closet <laughs> moving stuff around. That's freaky. Yeah, I don't know. Freaky. But it 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 only would happen if I drank. Yeah, alcohol... Definitely was because related. since then I haven't. I wonder if it's just like high sugar levels or something that triggers that. I don't know. That's wild. I don't know anything about sleepwalking, but certain people do it and it's real. Yeah. You were real freaky. I would never remember. <laughs> real freaky. Wow. That Everything we're talking about just doesn't seem like this lifetime. Right. Like it's old history that didn't exist. I think it's super strange. That we've had. <laughs> I already know what you're That we've had say. all these conversations. <laughs> About all these people obsessed with your toes 
and you show up here completely <laughs> shoeless <laughs> with I forgot painted I toenails. <laughs> like you're putting on See, a I can't show. I not paint them. You're about to do a runway show for these guys. You better be watching this. <laughs> that hurt. Okay, so what do you think? The um, yeah, I accidentally wore sandals. Normally, I wear like socks, but okay, okay, that's your excuse. That's <laughs> I, it. I that's I all had... you had. I accidentally wore sandals. Oh yeah. I mean... She showed up. I said no socks, huh? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm sorry. What do you think? The um, I, the... I'm, okay, I'm thinking okay. of, as a viewer right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are starting relationships. They're in relationships. The A lot of times relationships are, are a struggle bus. What do you think the secret, the key to our relationship has been? Because I got to tell you, I don't think it gets much more solid than we have been um, after the first breakup. I feel like we're very on top of communication. Like we admit when we're wrong. Like, okay, sorry. I was just on my period. Never had to do that. I was emotional. I'm sorry. I was like irritated that you didn't do the dishes. And then when you do, do you remember this? It happened not long ago. No, yeah, this is great. I was mad because, okay, this is probably sounds like a spoiled freaking brat. No, it's fair. You're always. We have someone that comes and cleans the house during the week or we have nannies that take care of it. But on the weekends, it's just us. So it falls on just me. Just us. Just our family. Just our family. No one cleans up after themselves. <laughs> no one washes their own dishes. No one puts their stuff in the dishwasher. So every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'm just like, I'm stuck doing this all day and all night. Every time I come in the kitchen, there's a whole new sink full of dishes. It's probably relatable to every mother and and Yeah, and but family. they do it all week. I It's just the weekend. So I'm just in there. Yeah, you're upset. Complaining. You're like having a little fit that why am I the only one that has to do this? So what do I do? Like, let me take care of these you know dishes. What? Let me do the dishes. Yeah. Right? First thing I do is I'm cleaning out those kids' glasses and that thing just breaks. Yeah. Boom. And I look down and I look up and my hands just gushing blood. Yeah. And a I whole had, slice of your fingers yeah. in the sink. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a super glue guy. I'll get the super glue and I'll glue it shut. Yeah. But this wasn't a cut. It just took. Yeah. The meat of my finger was in the sink. Those are the kids' Christmas glasses too. Thank goodness I did those <laughs> dishes. That that could have broke on a kid. Could right. have broke on you. Um. So I had to get. I think it was like five stitches. Four or five stitches. I it thought was it was nothing. three. No, baby, it was at least four. <laughs> I, I think I, I made, swear. I think it was, it was four. I, I can swear still it see was the, three. That's a good four. <laughs> I do see three holes, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was three. It was a big wound, babe. So anyways, I have not ever asked you to help me with the dishes So basically, again. guys, it's real simple. <laughs> Just do Just it so bad. Just jack it up if you don't want to But then I it. felt bad because I was like, oh, I wouldn't have done that if it was me. Then you got the ultimate guilt trip because you threw a little fit. And then I got hurt. And yeah. then you had to be like, dang, that wouldn't happen if I didn't throw the little fit. So, yeah, I just think admitting when you're wrong, like, I'm sorry. I was just irritated. I shouldn't have even said yeah. anything. But that's all basic stuff. And then pride, stubbornness gets in the way. But, like, what I, is I it? just think we're actually in love with each other. Oh. Like, we aren't going to do anything to hurt each other. That's Well, I'm, we're also basically by the hips of each other 24-7. Yeah, which— A lot of couples don't have that. Right. Like how blessed that we get to sit here right now. We're working right now. Mm-hmm. We're creating yeah. together. A lot of people don't get to do that. That is, I think about that all the time as one of the greatest gifts that we have together for is sure. that we do it together. But we didn't for a long time. Yeah. We, well, we didn't have a choice. Yeah. But we were still good. I think the biggest thing with us where we ever had any issue was alcohol. Yeah. I, and Which we and we've talked we talked yeah. about this in the Fusi episode is uh, the only time we've ever had any real argument was yeah. alcohol. But we do love each other, and we just you know I w- I want to please you, I want to make you happy, and you want to do the same for me. And I think that's where we still are just so strong. It's like I think I want you to have just as good of a day as I want to have for myself. 
Okay. And it's not like I want to be selfish. Like I want to do these things. I, I'm about to give you I all the know. biggest relationship advice that you've ever heard. Oh, gosh. Have more sex. <laughs> Have more sex. I'm telling you this. As a man, it's one of the most healthy things in a relationship. Yeah. I'm telling you. You could have 20 things on your day that you don't want to do. 20 things. Make sure having sex with your husband's on there. <laughs> Wait, that it's not something I want to do? There's a lot of people that don't want to. I mean, there's certain saying. times that I'm just like, I've been pulled on all day by this person, by this person. Don't touch me. Listen. And we have certain times of the month that you have to stay away from me. I, there's other things you can do. I'm just talking about relationships but. in general. The older you get, don't let that go. Yeah. Keep it fun. Keep it alive. But also you have to stay attracted to that person. We're animals. I'm an animal. I'm a, like a lion Gosh. out in the woods. And um, when you come prancing through the prairie, bam, pregnant. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, but be, especially being together 13 years, like my body has went through many changes. Your and- body, your choice. Oh, my God. I, listen. Okay, but still, I'm, you I'm have even, to stay attracted to the other person to have sex all the time. I like that. So, me going to the gym has that helped you stay attracted to me? I mean, I feel like it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like I still love you no matter what. Okay, here we go. But I feel like it's almost for me. Like I am not comfortable if I'm. Not comfortable in my own skin. So me going to the gym, me watching what I eat, whatever like that, it helps me mentally and physically want to have sex because I find myself. You're more confident in yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a good way to dodge my question because <laughs> you've said absolutely nothing. No. no, it definitely helps. It definitely helps. What do you mean? Yeah, okay. That's what, what I was looking for. What do you for. want Thank me you. to say? Well, that's I, I want you to grow a dad Thank you. bod? No, I don't. Um, but if you had one, it it wouldn't be that I wouldn't be attracted to you. It's I just I just think if the that side of the relationship dies, the relationship really does die. Like I really believe that. Not having any intimate time. I really believe that. Yeah. I think it's you're unconnected. I think it's a an incredibly high rate of relationship failure is because the fun, the intimacy, the sex drive drops. Yeah. Which and I, and I think as a couple, help it though. as a couple, you have to build things in your life to keep that drive up because yeah. we get older, we stop searching for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish that I had a switch in my brain that never wanted to do it again. I would get so much done, but I'm, it's not part of my genetics. Yeah. I'm a, You're opposite. Um, yeah. But it is hard for some people because some people do have hormone issues to where they can't they can't perform I, or they don't want touched or I, they don't. I get that there's a, there's some, reasons. Right. I'm just saying as a normal, healthy couple, maybe you've been together 10 years. It ain't like the first year. Yeah. You have to keep it so alive and fun. Don't let it get boring. That's what I'm saying. Don't be don't, vanilla. Don't be vanilla, bro. <laughs> just – you got to keep it fun. Yeah. And I also think it's just as important because guys and girls are just different. Yeah. I think that us men, they, they want different things. I think you would be just as happy with me cuddling up to you mm-hmm. and watching a movie as I would be doing the dirty. Yeah. No, for sure. So there's a huge – that's the difference, right? So to find that When balance. was the last time we cuddled up and watched a movie? It's been a while. When was the last time we had sex? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Don't about answer three that. hours ago. <laughs> Don't answer that question. <laughs> no, it's been about five. Um, oh, my gosh. My face is beet red, isn't it? I think there's more than a sexual side. That I think that that's very important to keep it spicy and alive and fun. Yeah. There's an emotional side. There's the support side. Um, that's very, very important. Maybe to a lot of men, not my case, but mainly to the women where you, you guys have more emotional support. You find that, you find that 
that emotional love to be so rebuilding. Mm -hmm. Whereas me, if I want to kick butt today, I need to release some steam. <laughs> like for real, it's like a real thing. Yeah, I think for me, like, especially like being with the kids a lot is I'm just like, okay, I need you to take them, spend your time so I can go take a bath. I can go get my time because I'm doing so many things. Like I get up a lot earlier than you do yeah. to take care of bills, to take care of emails, to take care of whatever else it is. Uh, the kids. The kids <laughs> get up early, but I, I really try and get up an hour before the kids get up so I can have some me time. Or in the evening, I'm like, hey, can you take him outside on a ride? I can go take a bath. So mm -hmm. it's like definitely getting alone time is super important. There's a balance. There's a balance. Like, yeah. uh, you do all the stuff I don't want to do too. Mm -hmm. I, I, if, if, I, if I was in charge of paying bills… We'd lost everything. Well, we did get we did get a notice for our electric not long ago, so yeah. I, I'm not very good at it. It happens. But that I happens to everybody. Done. But like the 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 team work is a real thing. It's yeah. a team effort um, that we just happen to do so well together, mm -hmm. and, and I think it's just a blessing. Until I complain and stomp my feet and make you do the dishes. <laughs> hey, and I, then I feel bad. No, you feel bad because I volunteered. <laughs> You're just like, hey, go. I feel like I was like doing my makeup or something. I don't know. So what gets me sometimes is like I have to get everybody ready. I have to pack everything. I have to do all this stuff. And then it's like I have zero time to get myself ready. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing in my life that I'm like this bothers me sometimes. Yeah. And I'm I'm still laying in bed while you're doing all that. Yeah. Asleep. Yeah. Yeah. You're. I mean you're yeah, a Yeah. And then star, you though. ask me what time is it? I'm like, it's eight, it's nine o'clock. And you're like, exact this was this morning. <laughs> I, <laughs> I said, said it's, it's nine. nine. I said it's nine o'clock. And you're like, nine o'clock. Like it's nine o'clock exactly. And I was like, it's 8.52. She's like, what's the difference? I was like, well, maybe it could have been 9.15. And I got 15 more minutes of sleep. I'm grumpy in the morning. I'm like an old <laughs> truck, dude. I got I got Like I've been up start since it seven with the kids. Pump the gas and like, yeah. Which this is the first time ever. So the kids all sleep. The kids all sleep in one room together. They've all gotten so scared to sleep in their own rooms that they all have separate beds in the same room. Yeah, it's like one big room of just people. Yeah, of just the kids. So I woke up this morning and I look on the monitor and there's no knocks. Cora had come in our room at like 3 in the morning, so she was on our couch in our bedroom. And then I turned the camera to the other bed. There's no cane. And I was like, oh, they must have just gotten up. And I walk out this morning, and they're both on the couch, snuggled up watching cartoons. And Aww. this is, like, the first thing. And I feel like most parents know, like, when that happens, when a kid will wake up and not come directly to you, or, you, you know, you don't have to get up with the baby, that they're up. Oh, thank God. It's like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is happening. They're growing. They're growing. Yeah. And it was just, like, mind-blowing to me that they were just out there by themselves watching cartoons. And I was just like, oh, this is the cutest thing ever. But, like, I have so much to do because I didn't get up an hour before they got up. But it was very strange. That's a fun time. And it's it's I think it's more sad to me knowing it's the last kid. When before it would, it would be a relief, like, oh, my gosh, I can sleep in five more minutes now. Mm -hmm. Or I can not worry about feeding them as soon as they get up. Like, they can go watch cartoons, right. entertain themselves for a few minutes. Um, but with the last one, I'm just like, no. It's sad. It goes fast. Yeah. Time is, uh, it, it can be on your side when you're going through a hard thing, and it can be really against you when everything's great. Mm -hmm. It just goes so quick. Um, and, and we've, you really notice it with kids yeah. because all of a sudden they're not kids anymore and they're, you know, <laughs> Noah's a senior this year and right? I, I, it's just, just my baby. Uh, so it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. And I think kids in general have helped us stay, um, so close. Like I, yeah. I've always wondered if, if we chose never to have kids, if, if we would have made it. I think the kids really bonded us a lot too. I want to say no, but I don't know. No, we wouldn't have made it. I don't know. I don't. Well, how there could was, you? There was, there was definitely times during my pregnancies that were like, "Are we gonna make it? Oh, Is well, this pregnancies gonna happen." Listen, pregnancy is the worst part of life. 
I hate every, I hate every step of pregnancy. For you, yeah. And it's worse for you. You have to transform and and and, and I get to potentially this... wreck your body and yeah, uh, and, it is hard for sure. And waddle and complain and pregnancy is the worst part of having a child. Mm-hmm, I hate sure. it. I hate it. I yeah. hate it. Um, it's the longest thing ever too. Unless yeah. somebody else is pregnant, it goes like that. It's like right. instantly. Oh, oh my gosh, you're you're having a baby. It's like uh, I've been pregnant for five years. But when it's you and your wife. It is the longest wait ever. And then and then the process of having the baby is a nightmare. Uh, it's nothing but fear and worry that this little being is going to be healthy and strong. And um, and that's all you can— I think that's just having kids in general because I still have lots of fears and worries. Of course. When they're older. Yeah. You're, you're, a, you're a helicopter mom. You, yeah. <laughs> I am. Um, but yeah, I—, I would have 100 kids if they just came out four years old. You just went and picked them up. Yeah. Oh, you're four? Boom, let's go. Speaking of helicopter, we're getting our helicopter license, right? We're going to work on it. This is a real thing that's happening. Yeah, we're going to do it together. And you're in. Together, yes. I, know, see, I, I have see, to. All right, here's— I'm he, not sitting here, in the back of a helicopter with you driving. Thing, I drive everywhere. Here's the thing about me and Britt. Whatever it is, we freaking do it together. Yeah. And I don't know how this came about because you guys have possibly heard me over and over in my vlogs over the last probably seven years. One day, not only will I be a pilot, I will own a helicopter. And I had a massive spark of inspiration the last month to not only... To dive in. Not only become a pilot, but to buy a helicopter and this is all happening. And yeah. it is so freaking excited. I could barely sleep last night because of some things happening. Right. And out of nowhere, Britt's like, I'm all in. I'm going to be a pilot too. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, if you guys know how helicopters work, um, you can have a driver's side and a passenger side together. Mm-hmm. So my thought is like, God forbid I passed out mid-flight. Mm-hmm. All I'm thinking is Britt has her own controls. Yeah. And I'm like, how freaking sick is this? Me and my wife could bounce with the kids anywhere. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just like a, an incredible like next step that I want to that I want to do. I want to conquer. And now you want to do it with me. It's yeah. so freaking exciting. I'm down. I, so I think exciting. it's a control thing. Like I don't know if how comfortable I would feel in a helicopter with you driving all the time. That's because you haven't spent much time in a helicopter. Yeah. It's the greatest thing ever. It's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. It's like pure freedom. You put ACDC in the headphones and you just lift off. <laughs> you put that CCR Vietnam music on and you just take off. You pack the helicopter with tents and you go camping. Oh, my. No, I'm I'm beyond excited. I'm nervous because like the stuff that you have to do to get your license, like emergency yeah. shutoffs and like – all of that stuff. You is, have to fly that chopper with no engine. Yeah, that's but very that, but like that's, nerve-wracking to me. That's why you spend uh, – I don't want to do the course. I want to spend an entire year with yeah. an instructor. That's how much time I want to put into it. I don't yeah. want to take a 40-hour class and be done. I want to spend the next year of my life – and I think this could be a great series mm-hmm. of us becoming pilots. Yeah. And we start at zero, and next year – we are taking off in our helicopter. With our family, going camping, going and wherever. I know this sounds absolutely absurd to a lot of people. It's just some weird passion that I've had for a long time. And I didn't know that these things were achievable. I really didn't. Right. I didn't know that you could – I didn't know you could work enough to one day buy a helicopter and you could actually just – land in your yard and take off wherever you want. I didn't know that. Yeah, we thought it was like flight plan, like kind of – um like having a plane, but it's not really like A plane that. is way more flight plan and yeah. Yeah, yeah. So over the next year, guys, this is, this is actually something we're doing. Mm-hmm. And I'm, it's already in the works. We're pulling triggers on so many things. I've had – We've had talks with a couple four instructors. Four local pilots here that are interested in, in spending the next year with us. And yeah. that's really what I want to do. I want to I want to really take time on this. Nothing For sure. rushed. For sure. Very professional and – uh, add it to my so weird. Who's gonna be the helicopter mom now? So do we? Yeah. It's gonna be my new. It's 
Give me that uh, TikTok right now, helicopter mom. I didn't even know that th- that was a thing until you said it. But you would actually be a helicopter mom. That'd be dope. Yeah. You could have your own channel. A chick with a helicopter, that would be fantastic. Just have your scar on my back always. My scar. Or your Barrett. Oh, oh, the <laughs> scar. I'm like, what like scar? Gun. You got a scar on your back? <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's exciting. That's something that we have not shared. Yeah. That's happening in our life right now. I put out a small post looking for a pilot because I didn't know where to start on that. Um, but that's going to be sick. And it's going to be sick for everyone we know. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. It'll be really fun. Um, the potential is just crazy. Mm-hmm. I'll put a bucket on it and be able to put out forest fires. Yeah. I'll be that guy. The old guy, retired YouTuber. <laughs> Helping with forest fires. My luck, I would be the guy that picks up a random scuba diver and dumps him into the woods somewhere. Oh you know that's happened. What? Yeah, that's happened. They found no. they have found dead scuba divers in the middle of the jungle before. And and the and the theory is is that they were scooped out of water rescue, scooped out of ponds or lakes where they grab water to put out a fire, grab a diver, whatever the odds are, and when they drop that water, the diver literally dives into the earth. How wouldn't they see that? You're, what do you mean? You don't see that well under a helicopter. You drop down, that, that bucket opens up, and then when you when you pull out, it shuts and it, it fills with water. Sure know about pulling out, don't you, babe? <laughs> I, I, I know a thing or two. If you want to get like really deep, and I'll get like, I know how you like the, 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 the sensitive. Honey. <laughs> the sense of society. She used to call me Mr. Jack Daniels. Oh, my gosh. Because she loved me when I... I know. Sometimes you still I'm miss it, I think. I do. <laughs> That's the only time I can get you to be romantic or could get you to be romantic. I'm you, not, are, you are not romantic at all. I'm not romantic. No. You can't even spell romantic without Roman. No. <laughs> no. I do lack. I do lack. I honestly think if there was like a, a rating on our... Like me and you side by side... The, be- the better partner, it would be like 80 you, 20 me. Like, I think you really hold the whole thing you, together. You you have your perks. Yeah, what are they? <laughs> Spill it. Not romance, that's for sure. Dang. That does you, suck. You had your times. No, that- And that's why, like, be like, okay, you're Mr. Jack Daniels right now. Like, when we would drink and stuff, it would... I will say, that. yesterday was our anniversary, and I felt so bad that just... <laughs> but you know what? We've hit a point where not only do I do nothing for you, but you do nothing for me. So it's like it feels better on my part because you're so incredible at pulling things off. Sweet. Like you're what do you sweet. Mean? I don't know. You're just better at being sweet. I don't do things for you. I, well, what I, was this morning? I literally just <laughs> said that you're better at it. Um, but I will say this. Where were you? Where were you going? I don't know this? if this is romantic or not, but daily, weekly, I look at you, and this is this is God's honest truth. <laughs> I look at you, and I, and and I don't think my time on Earth, no matter how much time I have left, is enough. Mm. And that's true. And I think of it. All the time. Really? Even if I lived uh, and to an old man, I freak out that I wouldn't have enough time with I'm gonna you. I'm going to be this wild old woman by myself. You are. You are. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going first. <laughs> but I'm praying that after this life, it's me and you still. Yeah. Because I feel like, like I'm, I get sad that I don't have enough time here for, with you. That's that, really sweet. Is that crazy? Does anybody out there have that about their wife or girlfriend? Or it's not a, it's not a, it's not something I've thought about. It's every single day. I think I don't have enough time with you. Every day. Almost. Definitely once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely once a week. No, but when I, I do my makeup and my hair. No, I have these thoughts of like, it's not enough time. Like I'll never, ha- and we're together 24 seven and I still think I'll never have enough time with her. Yeah. That's weird. That is weird. It's like a, a, a it's like a soul <laughs> it's connection. It's very sweet. See? It's, it is very sweet. See, I still got it. But it's not like. I didn't have any Jack Daniels. It's not the Jack Daniel Roman. What was the Jack Daniel? How could it get any better than that? I don't know. Maybe I was more Maybe. lovey, touchy. Probably. 
I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was just different. Do you um? Do you have any of them thoughts about me? <laughs> 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 am, uh, am I the only one here? I definitely have never had that thought of like. I think I've definitely thought about. Um, You've had enough time. <laughs> no, <laughs> or we've, we've cleared no, that. No, like um, you know, we don't get into much religion or anything, but I think. Religiously, I have thought about uh, being after this. Yeah, like being together in the afterlife, having our family in the afterlife, and definitely pray for that. Mm, I hope so. Gosh, that'd be freaking epic, right? Mike, it took you long enough to get here. <laughs> Sorry, I had that. That's that's what guys. It it is it. it does. That's one thing about being the older in the relationship. If it just goes by age straight up. Then I'm out of here before you. That's 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 kind of hard yeah, to think about. Yeah, but like like even for both of us, our grandmas are still around. Yeah, I grandpas mean, have been gone for a while. I know, I know. And, my and, great uh, grandfather was alive a lot longer than uh, my grandmother, though. On my side as well, um, my dad, since my mom passed, he's like the first one in the family that hasn't been with his wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the, all the wives are left. Yeah. Um, Both my grandma, which my grandpa, my grandpa was way older than my grandma. Yeah. And it's just like this harsh reality of like, I love it now. Mm -hmm. I, I love our age gap. Yeah. Um, but there's a time where it's not going to be so great when you're changing my diapers, babe. <laughs> like I will gladly change your diapers. Oh, see, that's love. Yeah. That's love right there. I'm not changing your stuff. It hits that. There is no way I will hire somebody immediately. Yeah, you would. I don't change the kids' diapers. Yeah, you've probably changed. I I would say five diapers out of all the kids. More than that. Six. Closer. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm. I'm really not the catch. No. Like basically, what you've <laughs> told everybody on this podcast is. I'm sorry. You have, no idea why you're even here. <laughs> this is terrible. I am. No, I, I literally was talking about how in love with you I am. It's just love. I don't know. I just love you. Oh. I can't explain it. Yeah. That's I'll good. I'll do anything for you That's no good. matter. I'll accept that. Any time of the you day. You will, though. That's I a, just love you. I know. I remember watching your grandpa at the hospital before he passed, and your grandma was feeding him ice cream. Yeah. And I had this, like, thought of like I know with all my heart Brittany would be feeding me that ice cream mm -hmm. like we're gonna hit that and I'll be just <laughs> holding it together for you as, oh and my gosh that's a sad reality like death is just as common as birth but we take it so hard don't get me started on death I know it's terrible we don't have to talk about death yeah um, please we've obviously done a ton together we've had a um a wildly blessed career, a weird career. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're going to become helicopter pilots and we're going to um, raise our children. Where do you want to, like, what do you want to do? Like, we've started this podcast. Where do I want to be in five years? I have but no like, idea. Not, not where do you want to be in five years. Like, what's your next, like, goal? Because I, I, I want to become a helicopter pilot. You want to do that with me, but do you have anything that maybe I would want to do with you? Like, what? Where do we go? I don't know. Like, is it is it more a time to chill, like raise our kids and and do our podcast, and or is it like, are you still ready to turn up? Like, we still going hard? Are we gonna, you know, continue vlogging and, and maybe revamp that? Like, what do we want to do? I don't know. It just depends on the day. I go through waves of like. I'm starting my own YouTube channel. You, it's like once God, a, this girl once has a said, month I say it. This girl I'm has gonna said do that it. for a, a year. Probably five years. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, we can't even do our YouTube channel. I know. Um, I've always yeah. wanted to, but. I just, yeah. And it would be great too. It would be great. Yeah. I just. But I again, know. it's like now we start a podcast. And right. I feel like you're always supporting my ambition. You're always right. not only okay with it, but you're on board and you want to grow it with me. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, freaking helicopter to starting a podcast. Yeah, I love it. Let's go. I'll do it with you. 
Um, I, I don't feel like I'm doing much for you. For you, it's like just let me take my bath once a week. Just give me that bath time. <laughs> just I've been trying. Take the kids. I've been trying, and- but you don't have anything that's like legit. That you're know. like, you know what I really want to do before I call it quits? Blank. Like for me, I got big stuff. That's a big question. I got big stuff. I definitely want to live on the beach somewhere. Okay, that's one of my, my on my my bucket list. But you list. want to live on a beach that has waves. I don't know if I, I want Here's waves. what I want to do. I want to be able to go snorkel during the day and surf once a day. So it's got to be clear water. This is these are big these are big asks. Yeah. I don't know if I'll get there. I will get there. Mm-hmm. I will get there. You gotta, you gotta. Uh, uh, Rob Deerdeck posted something today, which I'm dying to get on this podcast. If anybody Rob. wants to make that happen, um, he he said you don't just think about what you want to do. You have to act and imagine that you've already got it. Mm-hmm. So you have to. Uh, I've already got the house on the tropical island, right? You have to imagine what that would feel like and you have to live like that. Yeah. And that's how you that really sure. build it into your scape. Um, so just saying I want to do it is not enough. Yeah. I have to. You know what? I already have a very successful podcast. It feels amazing. We got incredible guests coming up. Number one podcast in the world. No, <laughs> but um, I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy I get to do it with you. Yeah. Um. I don't think I would want to be the number one. Number one is like half hate, half love. You only get there with drama. You only get there with controversy. You only get there with We have to stir it up. If you really want it, you got to stir it up. That's the truth. When the vlog channel was the top vlog channel in the world, Mm -hmm. we had the most hate. Yeah. When the vlog channel was not, like right now, it's all love. There's not one mean comment. Sometimes. That's the sad truth. If you're not getting hate, you're not growing. Yeah. And that's a hard reality to, to uh, you almost capitalize on the hate. Mm-hmm. The haters don't even know how much they're growing you. Right. And that's crazy to think about. It's like they're doing you such a Yeah, favor. I'd much rather have lower numbers and more love rather than higher numbers and a mix we're of We're in a comfortable. Fighting and people, you know. Yeah, we're in a comfortable situation. Yeah. But we've also done it a very long time. We've gone through it. Yeah, We've been absolutely. there, done that type thing. Yeah. So no big ambitions that I can join you. I can do with you. I, I don't know. You're just in it for the I want to get my neck tattoo removed. That's like one thing I, I can't, really want I can't do, do that with you, but I can I can hold your hand. I heard yeah. that hurts. Yeah. Does it hurt? Why don't you just do it? I don't know. I just haven't found a place. You hate this neck tattoo, which by the way, you never see it. Nobody sees I it. I hate it. Sisters. Yeah. Everyone's like, what's your neck tattoo mean? How do you know it means that? By the way, you got that at 18 years old. On my 18th birthday. And who told you not to? When your ex was sending you, she's only 17. Who told you not to get that tattoo? Um, Lots of people. My stepmom, my grandma. You're just going to leave me out. I was, I was trying not to get you. Not only, not, you were there with me, though. Here's the issue. You got a tattoo that says sisters, and you didn't get it with your sister. That was my big red flag. She, My sister has a tattoo that says soul sister. Not with me. I Is know, but it's if you were 18 and you and your sister were like, we're doing this, I, I would have been like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. But you're just doing it with a, a, a friend. A friend. Yeah. Are you guys still friends? No. Boom. <laughs> yes. We're friends on Facebook. Okay. But you're not close. You're not sisters. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we so all make I wanna, mistakes. I want to do that within the next year, maybe. We all make mistakes. I just don't know where to go. Who to go to? Oh my God. To make sure it's removed fully. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I have I all my, I still have all my tattoos. Um, You know what I really want to do? I just want to put that out, this out there. I really want to have a full podcast about aliens desperately. And I need the biggest alien expert um, on this podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm dying to have that conversation. Nice. I love so I'll, outer I'll space. Work. I love how confused it makes me feel, and I just want to have that conversation. So, alien experts, let's go. Yeah, I might sit at home. Yeah, you could. I could be intimate with an alien expert right here. Yeah, do it. We could wear alien costumes, and we could. (laughs) I just love that stuff. I love that stuff. Um, And I think it'd be fascinating to listen to. Um, Guys, listen, especially if you're listening to this part of the podcast, uh, you've made it. 
Thank you. <laughs> uh, we've never had. What I'd like to do is is really see um, a like button on this setup exactly how it is. Just Brittany and I, and I want to know if you love it, if you'd like to see more of it, because this is easier for us to do when there's no guests or, um, you know, we can just knock these out. Uh, secondly, I know that we could get really good on these mics and forgetting about the cameras and having real conversations. Mm -hmm. That would be a lot of fun moving forward. Um, so today, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you better hide those feet, girl. What the <laughs> yes. heck? Moving forward, the next few podcasts, we have incredible guests coming. We have um, everyone from the Granny Pack um, to Cletus McFarlane is on here um, in the next couple. And we're just going to be knocking them out. But when we don't have guests, I'd love to uh, do some real serious talk and maybe one day get a little controversy going. Spice it up. We're humans. We got to speak our minds. Just ask me what time it is in the morning. We're, so. Hey. The fastest way to fail is to try to please everybody. Yeah. And what are we doing right now? <laughs> Trying to please everybody. Yeah. We love you guys. Thank you so freaking much for being a part of this podcast. I know it's new and fresh and uh, you're here now. You're, you're at the starting line. So we love you. Anything else? No. Go share this with the person you love or… Oh, yeah. Maybe, you haven't... maybe your ex on why you guys didn't work. Why'd you send me this podcast? <laughs> yeah. Share this with someone you love. All right. My, uh... Or want to love. Oh, that's true. Ooh la yeah. la. Goals. We'll see you guys next Wednesday at 1 p.m. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more.